Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about the do-while loop in Java. Here's our outline. We will talk about the do-while loop and then we will see the difference between the while loop and the do-while loop. Let's get started. So in order to write a do-while loop in Java, we will write something like this. We will use the do keyword and then we will put our statement or our statements. So we can add braces over here. And after that, we can use the while keyword followed with a condition. And finally, we have a semicolon. And if you don't put this semicolon, you will get a syntax error, all right? So the statement or the statements will be executed as long as the Boolean expression evaluates to true. So this is as usual. So let me show an example. Have a look at this code over here. I'm initializing a variable i, which is an integer to be equal to one. And then I'm saying do this code while i is less than or equal to three. So over here we are printing hello concatenated with i and after that we are incrementing i. And as you can see, i starts from one and it ends at three. So this loop is going to run three times. So how does this work exactly? First of all, we are going to execute the first iteration regardless of the condition. So iteration one will be executed without it checking the condition. So we are going to print hello one and after that we are going to increment i. So now i is equal to two. So after executing the body of the do while loop, now we will check the condition. Is two less than or equal to three? Yes, this is true. So we will execute the second iteration. We will print hello two and then we will increment i. So now i is equal to three. So now we check the condition. Is three less than or equal to three? Yes, it is. So we'll execute iteration three. We will print hello three and then we will increment i. Now i is equal to four. So is four less than or equal to three? No, this is false. So we are done executing the do while loop. So what's the difference exactly between the while loop and the do while loop? When using the while loop, we check the condition and then we execute the body of the while loop if the condition is true. But when using the do while loop, we execute the body of the do while loop and then we check the condition and we will keep executing the body of the while loop as long as the condition is true. So the execution happens first. So have a look at this code over here. I'm initializing a variable i which is an integer to be equal to 100. So if you have a condition i is less than or equal to 5, this condition is false, right? So now look at this. I'm saying while i is less than or equal to 5, execute this code. So first of all, we will check the condition. Is 100 less than or equal to 5? No, this is false. So the body of this while loop will never be executed. So over here we have zero iterations. Now let's see the same example, but now let's use a do while loop. So as we said, we will execute the first iteration and after that we will start a check in the condition. So we are going to print hello 100 and then we will increment i. So i is now equal to 101. So now let's check the condition. Is 101 less than or equal to five? No, this is false. So we will stop executing the do while loop. But in this case, we have one iteration, right? So a do while loop is executed at least one time. And as we saw in the previous exercise, we wanted to read the first input from the user at least once before starting executing the while loop, right? So because the do while loop executes at least once, we can read the first input from the user inside the do while loop. So after reading the first input, we will start checking the condition. So now I want you to resolve the exercise by using a do while loop. And here is an example on the output. First of all, I'm saying enter a number between one and 10. The user enters minus 11, for example. So as you can see, I'm displaying the same message and now the user enters 20. So this is also not between one and 10. So we are displaying the same message and now the user enters a three. So after that, we are displaying three is between one and 10. So pause the video and try to solve this exercise using a do while loop. So let's go to IntelliJ. So as you can see, I already created our scanner object, right? So previously, we read the first input from the user outside the loop. And this is because the while loop checks the condition first and then executes the body. But now we want to use a do while loop. So what I'm going to do, I will declare the variable n like this. And after that, I'm going to use a do while loop. So I will do some code while n is less than one or n is greater than 10, right? So if this condition is true, this means that n is not between one and 10. So we are going to re-execute this code over here, right? And as you can see, we have a small error. This error says the variable n might not have been initialized. As you can see, we are using n over here in this expression, but we didn't put any value inside the variable n, right? 
So don't worry, when we read some value from the user, this error will be fixed, all right? So what do we want to do over here? Suppose that this is the first iteration. Then we want to display a message, for example, enter a number between one and 10, okay? And let's over here use the print method, not the println method. So now what we want to do? We want to read the number from the user. So we will set the variable and to be equal to as dot next integer. So as I said, imagine that this is the first iteration. So we are going to read the first input from the user and after that we'll check this condition. So if the first input is between one and 10, then this condition will be false. So we will stop executing the while loop, right? But if the input is not between one and 10, we are going to re-execute this code over here. So we will display the same message and we'll read another number from the user. So this is it. Now, after executing the do while loop, and will be a number between one and 10. So let's display, for example, n is between one and 10. So now let's try the program. So as you can see, enter a number between one and 10. Let's say minus six, for example, press enter. And as you can see, we are running the loop again. We are asked to enter another number, right? And this is because this condition over here is true because minus six is less than one. So we are re-executing the body. We printed this message and now we are reading another value. So let's enter another value over here. Let's say 88, for example, press enter and we have the same thing. Now, if you enter a number between one and 10, for example, nine, press enter. As you can see, nine is between one and 10 and we finished executing the do while loop. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.